Hello, and welcome to this edition of Amptitudes. My name is Kevin Treader, Product Marketer with Microchip Technologies Analog Division. When it comes to operational amplifiers, today's system designer has thousands of products from which to choose. So how does one go about sorting through this overwhelming number of devices? One way is to start by selecting the proper process technology. Most manufacturers clearly label an op-amp as CMOS, bipolar, or even bi-CMOS. But what does this mean with regard to the actual use in an end application? First of all, let's take a look at current usage. CMOS is known for low power, as the transistors only draw current when switching states. However, this power advantage over bipolar transistors is only true for slower amplifiers. As the bandwidth increases, a CMOS amplifier's current increases dramatically and soon requires more current than a comparable bipolar amplifier. Hence, bipolars are typically better suited for high bandwidth, high slewing applications. When it comes to noise performance, CMOS transistors have worse 1 over F noise relative to bipolar transistors. At low frequency, the noise is dominated by irregularities in the conduction path and noise due to the bias currents within the transistors. In a bipolar transistor, the conduction path is buried inside the silicon, as opposed to near the surface on a CMOS transistor. At higher frequencies, CMOS still has a higher white noise due to a lower transconductance when compared to similarly sized bipolar transistors. Finally, in a previous Amptitudes episode, we explored bias and offset currents and why they are important. CMOS amplifiers have substantially lower bias currents relative to bipolar input stages, which can be orders of magnitude worse. These are just some of the trade-offs when considering the various process technologies available for op-amps. Bi-CMOS is a relative newcomer to the field, but combines the best of both CMOS and bipolar at a price point that is becoming more and more competitive. Thank you for joining me for this edition of Amptitudes. For more information, please visit www.microchip.com linear. See you next time. If you have a topic you would like reviewed in Amptitudes, please be sure to leave a comment below.